So let me ask you a simple question. How do you find your passion in life? You know, so a few days ago, I had an opportunity to have a conversation with a young professional man. His name is Bobby. Bobby, what's up if you're watching this? <clears throat> Bobby's 24 years old. He's got massive potential. He's got a good education, great family. He's making money. Life seems good. But for Bobby, there's just that question of what is it that I'm supposed to be doing for the rest of my life? And he equates that to his passion. So I asked him, well, what do you think that is? He didn't quite know. He says, Doc, it's strange. Like, I have money in my bank account and it's growing. And although it feels good, it doesn't seem to fulfill me the way I thought it was going to. And I think, as he said, I think that I just need to figure out what my passion is and follow that. Well, let me tell you, hearing that from a young man today in today's world, that's exciting. Those are the future leaders of America. People who have the strength and the courage to just ask those questions. What is my passion? How do I find it? And my advice to him was this, that you don't actually find your passion. Your passion finds you. Relax, everybody out there. Relax if you don't know what your passion is. And if you're young, right? If you're in your teenage years or your 20s or 30s, and for some reason you still don't know what you're supposed to be doing and you can't figure it out, it's because you're overthinking everything. Stop trying to force things to happen in life that don't need to be forced. There will be a time in your life when passion starts to well up inside of you. And this is what I said to Bobby. Bobby, if you're watching, I wanna, I wanna reiterate this. That when the passion begins to stir, stir up inside of your body, it makes you emotional. That's the key, fellas, right there. Emotion is attached to your passion. If you say to yourself, well, someday I wanna be a doctor, a lawyer, a poet, a professional athlete, whatever, but it doesn't give you this amazing feeling inside, then it's probably not your passion. And by the way, forget at this point what you're going to do at the work level for the rest of your life. That can be taken care of later. The important thing is that your passion is what's in here. It's the way you feel every day. Attached to passion is emotion. Picture this. I'm going to give you my passion because I'm actually doing it right now. It's contribution, contributing and loving people. But I'll tell you what, in your lifetime, there's going to be these moments when you're just, something's come up. I don't know what it is, but you feel incredibly emotional. Like for me, I want to cry sometimes in my life out of nowhere. And when that emotion hits me, I know where it comes from. It comes from the depths of my passion. And that could be, when I say cry, I don't mean in a negative way, I mean in a positive way. I feel so good. I feel so amazing in this moment that I wanna cry for crying out loud. I just feel amazing. I have this sense that I wanna go out and I wanna just give to the world and I wanna help them with everything in my soul. There's my passion. So what is my passion? My passion is to help people. Now let me break that down one quick second for you because passion you cannot live without passion, by the way, and you already have it. I don't care what you think, you have it. It just might be a little stifled because you're overthinking life, but it's in there and you just have to get to it, or should I say, get out of the way so that it can manifest. And it will manifest, and when it does, you're gonna feel incredible in a certain moment during your day. And I implore you, the minute you feel an overwhelming sense of joy and happiness and emotion, pay attention to that. That's your passion deep inside of you. It's speaking to you at that moment. It's trying to get your attention. But if you overthink it and you're not in the moment, you're gonna just let that thing go right by you. And then you're missing it. You may take you years to get that moment back. But for every moment that you sense your passion through emotion, make a mental note of it. That felt amazing. Then it happens again. That felt amazing. It happens again. That felt amazing. Oh my God, you're seeing a pattern here. You're seeing a pattern. And for me, in my life, it was going out and helping people. And every time I seem to help somebody, learn something, share it, so their lives will be improved, that's why I felt so amazing.
So I started to learn more about what that is. What is that thing that I'm feeling? Well, that's, th those are my values. And I had to understand, and so do you, that you have positive values and negative values. My negative value is an emotion. Value equals the name emotion, they're the same. So when my emotional level is, or should I say when I feel awful, I'm feeling my negative values that are controlling me on some level. And for me, it's rejection and disrespect. Now there's a lot of other negative emotions out there that people m may resonate around. Uh, whether it's anger, frustration, jealousy, rage, whatever. For Peter, this guy right here, it's disrespect and it's rejection. Those two things, the minute my body senses it, uh, uh, I just get angry and just upset and I just, I'm not loving life in that moment. But when I have an opportunity to witness or be part of love and contribution, my positive values, holy moly, I'm rocking and rolling. And where do I feel those? Right here, right in the chest, right in my soul. That's where I feel it. That's where my passion lives. Pete, what's your passion? My passion is to love and to contribute. That's my passion. Someone else's passion might be to travel the world and experience other cultures. It might be to jump out of a plane and feel the, 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 the wind in my hair because I love the source of adventure. That's what I love. Well, if that's what you love, then you've got to foster that. That's your passion. And in those moments, you just feel so alive and so amazing. You're listening to your heart. It's singing to you. And if it's doing that, listen to it. The easiest way to kill it is to get distracted by listening to the world and all the garbage that's out there, all that negative crap. It takes your passion, your, your passion and it just stifles it. And then you wind up conditioning yourself in that negative value system, always waiting for the next person who's gonna disrespect me or the next person to reject me. So instead of letting them do it to me, I do it to them first. You'll never find your passion if that's the way you live your life. So in the moment that I feel off and I don't feel right, my emotions are correct, they're experiencing something, I don't like it, so immediately when I sense that, I begin to switch my focus and my attention to love and contribution. Because I'm a father and a doctor, I can certainly turn my energy towards my patients and my family. Then I can feel contributory and I can feel love. Then I found my passion. It is to give to people. It's to help to teach them the things that I've learned, not only in books, but by attrition, by just living on this planet, by loving and losing, by gaining and falling backwards, by being in pain, but by being in joy. I want to share my life with people. That's passion. And when you see passion, it's undeniable. You can't mistake passion when you see it. And I'm telling you right now, if you're watching this video, you have that same passion, that same driving desire within you, and yet you keep knocking the crap out of it by not allowing it to come out because you'll feel vulnerable. Vulnerability is key. You must allow yourself to become vulnerable because if you don't, you will never ever allow that passion to manifest within you. And it's so important with your time on this planet that you experience the passion, that you live with the passion, that you let it move you and move others. That's what the true essence of life is. Whew, that got me a little sweaty. Yeah! If you saw my video last week of me jamming on the, uh, on the drums, whatever, that's part of my passion. See, I don't care what people think about my negative or positive side. I know who I am. I know what I want to do. And I want you to have that, ultimately, that same sense within you as well. So understanding you young people out there, looking for your passion, almost a waste of your energy. Just allow yourself to feel and allow yourself to stay within the moment that you're in. Be invested in it with your eyes and your ears and your nose and your physiology. Stay in the moments that you have because in those moments is when your passion has an opportunity to manifest because you are focusing on emotion and nothing could be more powerful in this world. Nothing could be more powerful in your life. So Doc, how do I find my passion? You don't. It finds you. It's already in there. You simply have to let it flow. And by the way, some people mistake passion for their job. 
Be careful. You don't just one day say, I want to be this and hope that you find passion in it. If you're a contributor, like I am, this is the thing that I love to do, then you can do all kinds of different jobs out there in the world. You can make videos on YouTube. You can be a motivational speaker like I do. You can be in, in a business for 30 years and treat patients pain and suffering and treat them. I'm contributing constantly. I could be a coach. I could be a husband, a father, a son-in-law. I could do all those things because every one of those is predicated on that really deep thing within me contribution. That's what I love to do. So Pete, you're a contributor. Yes, I am. That's my passion. What I choose to do with that, I can change anytime I want. As long as whatever I do with my time is contributory, then I constantly win. I'm constantly passionate. So I hope for you going forward, and you too, Bobby, who's watching this, I hope you understand that you lack nothing. You simply have the passion within you and you just gotta get out of its way and allow yourself to feel your way through it. And as it starts to manifest, it'll build and build and you will wanna jump out of your skin with joy and happiness. That's the way to live a great life. Hey, and then my message is over. Listen, I hope that helped. It's helped me over a lifetime to understand that passion is what makes the world go round. And if it's a passion that's driven for positivity, then the world will be a better place. So listen, that's what I got for you today. If you like this one, throw a thumbs up at me. Always love to have new subscribers. I'd like to continue my message. Would love to have you on it. Would like to see you share it on your social accounts as well, if that's appropriate. Leave comments and questions below. I'd be happy to answer them and engage with you. I gotta run now though. I got a lot of other amazing things to do with the rest of my day. So I hope you have an awesome day yourself. And as the my old guru would say to me, Tony Robbins, live with passion. I'll see you next week.